Hello friends, welcome to my channel Size World. So friends, in the last video we have discussed the notes of the first EBS chapter that is natural resources, air, water and land. And in today's video we are going to read the second chapter of the 600 EBS textbook that is uh, the living world. So friends, we will start with our today's reading. Yes, the name of the chapter is the living world. List the things seen in the picture. Say whether they are living or non-living things. Characteristics of living things. There are many kinds of plants and animals around us. They show some similarities and some differences. Yet, with the help of the certain certain features, we can tell that they are all living things. These features are not seen in non-living things. Such features are said to be uh, characteristics of living things. Let us study these characteristics. Can you tell what differences do we see between the young ones and the adult in the picture? Growth. Growth in living things. A, ba a baby grows up, up to become an adult person, woman or man. During the period of its growth, the baby gains in height and weight and strength. In the same manner, all the animals grow into adults in a certain period. Generally, humans require 18 to 21 years for their growth. Find out how long it takes for the young ones of hens, cows and dogs to grow into adults. Try this. Tie a thread to the tip of a potted sapling. Keep the thread stretched and tie it to a peg or nail above the plant. What do you observe after 15, 10 to 15 days? What that what tells you that plants has grown grown taller in all the plants it is mainly the width and the height of the stem that grows as as they grow some plants develop branches while other do not though all living things th living things grow animals grow only for a certain period. Plants on the other hand grow as long as they live. They grow. The growth of living things occurs from within the body, which means that growth occurs in all parts of the body. Use your brain power. What differences do you see? in the growth of the trees like mango, banyan and people and that of the bamboo, coconut and tuli, tuli plum, palms. Food is necessary for growth. Plants make their own food in the sunlight. Plants produce food, food from water, nutrition in the soil, and the carbon dioxide present in the air. This process takes place in the leaves of the plants. It is brought about the presence of sunlight. With the help of the chlorophyll in the leaves, the process of food production is, uh, is called photo photosynthesis. During this process, plants give out oxygen. Plants appear mainly green in color due to the chlorophyll in them.
intake of food by animals. Animals, however, do not have chlorophyll. They do not produce their own food. They search for food. Animals such as goat, sheep, horse eat grass, while the wild animals such as tigers and lions, lions meet their need for the for food by hunting other animals which live on plants. The intake of food and the resilient growth is an important characteristic of living, living things. Respiration. Hold your hand in front of your nose or keep your hand on the chest. What do you feel? If we observe a sleeping dog, what movement of his, its belly do we see? Living things need oxygen in order to live. Inhaling oxygen and exhaling the carbon dioxide formed in the body due to the use of oxygen is called respiration. Animals such as fish, snakes, mouse, etc. have specific organs for respiration. On the other hand, plants respire by the means of microscopic pores on their stems and leaves. Respiration is, the character, is a characteristic of living things. Can you recall? It is all the food we eat used by the body. What is the unused part of the food converted into? Excretion. Waste substances are formed during many processes that take place in the bodies of animals. They are called excreta and the process of eliminating Eliminating them from the body is called excretion. Animals have specific organs for excretion. Plants to excrete. For example, some plants shed leaves in a specific season. Waste substances stored in the leaves of plants are, uh, are shedded along with the leaves. Try this. Take a transparent plastic bag, tie it over a leaf of a plant as shown in the picture. Observe it after six to seven hours. What do you see? Droplets or water collected on, on, in, on the inside of the bag. It means that plants excrete water in form of vapors. Excretion is a characteristic of living things. Use your brain power. What is the sticky substance seen on the stem of a bubble? Uh, Echicia or drumstick trees. Observe and discuss. Discuss. Have you experienced this? What happened immediately after the following action? Lightning flashed suddenly into your eyes. Suddenly you felt a pink, a pink prick. The leaves of the misosa plant were touched. At the sunset, lamps on the street or covered at late and insect gather around the lamps. Responsiveness to stimuli, stimuli and movement. Living things act in various ways when responding to a stimuli. If you suddenly enter a cow shed, the cows and buffaloes stand up, begin to move. One or two may even start moving. These are the these these are all the moments. 
the creeper plant in the courtyard learns uh, leans toward a support a potted plant placed in the window grows towards the sunlight it means that plants to show movement living things move uh, move move of their own accord the movement or the change taking place in a living thing at such a time in their response response to a stimulus an event that occurs in the surrounding is a stimulus the ability to ability of living thing to respond to a stimulus is called the responsiveness to stimuli responsiveness to stimuli is a characteristics of living things use your brain power first in each of the example given above what is the stimuli and what is the response what is the main difference between the movements of the plants and animals can you tell what do you learn from these pictures reproduction living things produce other living things like themselves some animals give birth to their young ones some lay eggs their young ones are hatched out of the eggs new plants are produced from the seeds of the stems or the leaves of plant the process by which a living thing generates a new living thing like itself is called reproduction of uh, reproduction of procreation Re reproduction is a characteristics of living thing use your brain power why why have so many types of plants and animals been able to survive on the earth even today a definite life span at a st certain stage of life living things become capable of reproduction later on in later on in life reproduction stage their organs become weak and still later the li their life comes to the comes to an end in other words living things die the life span of different animals and plants are different for example the life span of a dog is about 12 to 18 years while the ostrich lives for 50 years you may have wondered what exactly the living things are how they come into begin and so on do you know the life span of a giant turtle found on the uh, gallospecious island in south uh, america is about once 170 years on the other hand the life span of the mayfly ranges from 1 hour to 24 hours can you recall observe a honeycomb and the wall what they are made of you may have seen the small compartments of a honeycomb these compartments are joined together to form a honeycomb the wall has bricks to construct a wall we firmly join the bricks together a wall a honeycomb a cellular structure living things are made of 
small units called cells. All the action and process in the bodies of living things are brought about with the help of these microscopic cells. Some living things are made of a single cell. They are called unicellular organisms. On the other hand, the living things that that are made of many cells are called multicellular organisms. The amoeba and, uh, and some other micro, microgrammes are unicellular while man, cow, mouse, cock, uh, cockroach, elephant, banyan tree, the onion, plant, etc. are all multicellular organisms. The all the characteristics of living things are seen in every cell of a living thing, whether it is unicellular or multicellular. Cellular structure is the main characteristic of the living thing, even though the number of cells may vary. institutes at work the institute that works work for the survey of conservation of various plants and animals in different parts of india are the botanical survey of india 1890 and the zoological survey of india 19 16 respectively. In cases you find an unf unfamiliar plant or animal in your surrounding, you can communicate with these institutes to obtain, obtain more information about it. Can you tell? In what way are plants and animals useful to us? useful living things plants plants are useful for household and well as industrial purpose for example fenugreek methi potato okra bhindi apple banana are used as food while vaska adulsa hirda bheda Asprugas are used as medicines. Animals are also useful to us. Dogs, cats, cows, buffaloes are kept for domestic uses. Fishes, sheep, fish, sheep, flow are used as food while animals like horse, oxen, camel provide use useful in various occupations the earthworm is very useful in the in a uh, agriculture harmful living things some animals are some animals and plants around us are harmful to men. For example, mosquitoes and flies spread disease. Cockroaches and mice rats destroy our food. Lick tick also spread disease. The bite of some poisonous lizard, spiders, snakes and scorpions can even cause death. If wild elephant enter the human settlement, they cause a lot of dist uh, destruction. Some plants too can be harmful as some, some for example, the odor, the odor, perthenium and the 
other weeds parts of the nettle coscia leaves cause itching plants like olander latana have strong odors the the tura plant is poisonous uncontrolled growth of fungi and and algae in the water pollutes drinking water and may cause the spread of disease wild animals wild animals that hunt other animals for food are called the predators for example the tiger lion wolves leopards sometimes due to the deforestation such animals enter the human settlements in search of food and may kill domestic animals or people find out watch tv channels such as national geographic fix discovery and collect information regarding various plants and animals found in our environment found in your environment uh, have a class discussion with the reference to the collected information always remember many plants and animals in the nature satisfy our needs the use of such plants and animals should be restricted only to our needs we should not pluck leaves flowers and fruits just unnecessarily animals should not be hunted they should not be teased just for fun it is responsibility and duty of all of us to protect plants and animals what we have learned growth respiration excretion reproduction uh, res response uh, responsiveness to stimuli movement a definite lifestyle uh, lifespan and a cellular structure are the characteristics of living things animals grow for certain period of their life plants however grow as as long as they live animals have specific organs for respiration while plants respire through microscopic pores on the on their leaves and stem the process of eliminating waste products from the body is called excretion all living things have the ability to reproduce the living things move because of their ability to respond to stimuli plants show plants show spontaneous movements but they can't leave their place and go el elsewhere as animals do living things have a definite life span at the end of which they die many animals and plants are useful to us in our da daily life some animals and plants can be harmful to us the smallest unit of the living thing is a cell yes friends so our today's reading is over and friends in the next video we are going to read the uh, means we are going to discuss the notes of this chapter so friends bye for today like this video sub uh, share this video to your friends and relatives and subscribe to my channel and friends bye for today bye